The hype surrounding Cyberpunk 2077 is simply ridiculous, especially considering how all we have really seen of the game is a little CGI trailer that's now over five years old. Honestly, the game practically advertises itself, kind of like how Fallout 4 did with the whole fake The Survivor 2299 ARG game, remember that? Now, although CD Projekt Red has been relatively tight-lipped about their next blockbuster title since the trailer's release, 2018 is proving to be an interesting year. It all began with a beep tweet posted on the official Twitter page of Cyberpunk 2077 on the fifth anniversary of the CGI teaser trailer, likely hinting that we will see a new trailer sometime this year. A few days later, a Polish website reported that according to their sources, the game will be present at E3 2018 in the form of a trailer to be shown at the event's conferences, as well as a playable demo behind closed doors. This was before E3 2018's official website opened and confirmed that CD Projekt Red would be present at the event in some way, shape, or form. It's also worth noting that my own sources close to the studio have reported that the plan is to show off a new demo of the game in first-person perspective at both Sony and Microsoft's conferences, featuring a few new enemies, vehicles, and various cutscenes. Keep in mind, however, that these are all rumors and secondhand information so they should all be taken with a grain of salt. But the bottom line is that it's clear CD Projekt Red has big plans for 2018. It's clear that 2018 might be the year of cyberpunk. Which brings us to today's news. The following information comes from the Parento Securities Gaming Seminar from February 22nd, 2018, which CD Projekt Red attended to talk about Gwent, GOG, and a little bit about cyberpunk 2077. As you might expect at this stage, beyond on basic information and promises, there wasn't a lot of new details about the game proper. But there was one particular slide in the presentation that caught many people's interest. It reads, quote, Establishing a new blockbuster franchise, New Universe, set in a futuristic world blending science fiction with modern culture, rich true-to-life visuals built on current and next-generation technology. The implications of that last bullet point could be interpreted a few different ways, but the general assumption is that it might suggest Cyberpunk 2077 will also be coming to next-generation consoles, so PS5 and the next Xbox. Considering how far off the game still is, this actually could make a lot of sense. Keep in mind that currently the game is rumored to release sometime in 2019 or even 2020. Sentiment within the studio seems to be that 2020 is a more likely release window based on the developers I've talked to. Not to mention how poetic it would be to release 2077 on the year that the 2020 tabletop that it's based on takes place. And by that time, one would assume that both Sony and Microsoft will have announced and maybe even released their next-gen consoles. If you haven't been keeping count, 2018 would mark the fifth anniversary of PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, and console generations tend to last between five to seven years these days. So by 2020, the speculated release year for Cyberpunk 2077, the PS4 and Xbox One would reach their seventh year on the market, making it prime time for the release of the next-gen iterations of these platforms. This assumption could very well explain why this slide lists that the game is being built on both current and next-generation technology. We could be looking at a cross-generation release for the highly anticipated title, a practice that isn't unheard of. You may recall that because Metal Gear Solid 5 was being developed in transition from last-gen to current-gen, it was made for both last-gen and current-gen consoles, with ground Zeros having released on PS3, Xbox 360, PS4, and Xbox One on March 2014, just a few months after the start of the new generation, and Phantom Pain a year and a half later on September 2015 on the same platforms. We also saw games like Twilight Princess being completed just in time for Nintendo Wii's release, hence why Nintendo leveraged that to launch the game for both GameCube and Wii. 
Perhaps we're looking at a similar scenario with Cyberpunk 2077, a game that is potentially releasing towards the tail end of this generation and the beginning of the next one. I would not be in the least bit surprised if the game did in fact release on PS4, Xbox One, PS5, and Xbox Next, mid-generation transition based on the game's development timeline. Aside from being a smart business decision, the game's graphics and gameplay stand to benefit significantly to boot. One of the things that that's currently holding back games from achieving that ideal buttery smooth 60 frames per second is the aging processors of current gen consoles, one aspect that cannot be upgraded with mid-generation refreshes. Processors are definitely bound to be significantly improved in next-gen consoles, and with that comes significant additional graphical fidelity, along with significant additional power for smooth gameplay. So I'm thinking maybe 30 FPS, 1080p, and 4K on PS4 and Xbox One, and 60 FPS, 1080p, and 4K on PS5 and Xbox Next. Obviously, this is all speculative information though, so don't spread this information around as if it were gospel. It'll probably be a few years before we find out for sure whether Cyberpunk 2077 is being built with consideration of next generation gaming platforms. In the meantime though, I'd love to hear what your take is on the subject in the comments below. With that, I would like to end this news update. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting me on Patreon. It is completely optional, but donating even as little as a dollar a month will go a long way in helping this channel grow. And to be further updated, on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out. <laughs>